on one end of the foam roller with your feet about hip width apart or slightly wider than your hip. Support with your hands on the floor, engage your core and you slowly roll down and center your entire spine including your head on the foam roller. Have your feet in a little bit so it's almost the heel almost under the knee so you will be a comfortable position. Go and float your arms up to 90 degree with your palm facing in. So as you breathe in, you reach your arm further up toward the ceiling so you feel the shoulder blades separate away from each other. And as you breathe out, your arms still straight. You draw the shoulder blade in and down towards the foam roller. Inhale as you reach up. And exhale as you pull the shoulder blade in and down. Continue for a few more times. So I just do about five repetitions for each movement. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And then somewhere in between will be a nice neutral shoulder blade. And from here we just do arm scissors, simple. Which opposite direction? Exhale, inhale in between, exhale to the other directions and continue. Same thing, we do about five repetitions. So for this, right side and left side is one. So we have one more to do. And here we pause. Arms up in front of the shoulder. This time we'll turn the palm facing away, facing the legs. From here, we'll bend the elbow and reach your elbow out right across at about shoulder level. So inhale to stay. And you exhale, you're going to lower the elbow towards the floor and inhale, release. It doesn't matter how far your elbow can go down. Just keep this slight engagement on the abdominal here so your ribcage doesn't pop. Exhale to, release, to lower, inhale to release. Exhale to lower, inhale, release. And stay here, elbow reaching either side of the shoulders, your elbow at a 90 degree. So from here, you're going to rotate your forearm upward and release, rotate back and again rotate up and back. Good. So two more times like this. One more time and we will add on. Now we stay here. Inhale, you're going to reach your arms up. So it doesn't matter if your hand on the floor or your hand here. It all depends on how flexible your shoulders are. So let's mind down here. It may be yours here. It's okay. The more you do it, the more flexible you will get. So we here, you know, lift your arms up in front of the shoulder. Nice and easy, you're going to reach your elbow out. You lower the elbow as far down toward the floor as you can. And then you rotate your forearm upward. From here, you extend the arms. Raise your arms up. Reach your elbow out wide. Lower the elbow. Rotate the forearm. And reach up. Lengthen everything. Arms up to the ceiling one more time, elbow out, elbow down, rotate, extend, and lift. So now we're going to reverse this. You're going to reach your arms overhead. So as if you can touch the back of your hand down to the floor, that's great. Otherwise, you're right here. And from here, you're going to soften the elbow, you reach your elbow out. And once again, it's the same. If your elbow can be out across the shoulders, that would be great. 
other way you might be here at that side. So from here you're going to rotate so the way your fingers will point directly into the ceiling and then you reach up. So we reverse that, we reach your arms overhead, continue. Soften the elbow, reach your elbow out. From here, rotate, reach up. Arms overhead, lengthen. Elbow wide. Rotate, reach up. Arms overhead. Soften the elbow. Rotate, reach up one last time. And reach up. To get that off, you just roll to the side and get yourself up. And now you're going to bring the foam roller to behind the back. Have your feet also hip width apart in knee band. Slowly roll down. So you rest the middle of your back below the shoulder blade on top of the foam roller. Place your hand behind your head and support the weight of your head. So now lean back, look directly to the ceiling, walk your feet in a bit closer toward the sit bone. Use your glutes to lift your hip up. So your body, your head is parallel to the floor. And you're going to rock, roll back and forth. Massage your back. So you can roll it all the way up to your shoulder, to your neck, if you are comfortable. So if you roll up to your neck, you are on the ball of your feet and you're reaching your knees toward opposite direction. This also gives you a nice stretch through the front of your thighs. So we go all back and forth a few times. Massage the tight muscles in the upper middle back area. And then you release your head back down. So have your foam roller right directly below your shoulder blades. And from here, you keep your core engaged. So you inhale to lean back, you open up the chest, the shoulders. And as you breathe out, support your head, press forward, and inhale, lean back. And exhale. So enjoy the extensions of the upper middle back is very difficult to get into this area. So the foam roller is a perfect tool for you to extend this area. So you can explore, you can let the foam roller roll up and down your back. And then you just extend one section at a time. Create space between the vertebrae. 